What's up guys, it's time to get squishy and then we raise our battle power. So in, to recap yesterday's stream, I did basically reach level 91 yesterday, uh, that's why I titled it. So I'm oh, basically over the 100%, but you cannot reach level 91 until the next level cap, which is probably going to be in like half a year or more. Um, I, my goal is to get 1000% by the time the level 95 cap comes out. So doing all the main plot instances... Or actually, the experience I had stacked up, I had like 544%. That 544% got me to 89.5. And, um, and then doing all the main plot instance quests basically got me to level 90 and then the 100%. So in one day, I already managed to just do everything for the level 90 cap. You don't really unlock anything new except for the trial breakthrough. You get one more chance and then you get to pick more. So you get to pick 6 out of 7 now. Which just gives you a little extra something. Um, and you basically get yourself these Gakido. So if you do the level 88 main plot instance, which I think is like the end of pain, by the time you do this one, or the, no, I think it's actually the conspiracy. By the time you do the last one, you will get Gakido as your reward. I did three star all of them. I consider the, the, this is the most aid one, aid one, hatred and understanding. It is a pure white background that makes your eyes bleed. And then the origin of pain and end of pain is like Doodle Bob background drawings. Um, besides that though, the hardest blue circle was Conspiracy in the Dark. I had to use a Great Ninja War 10 10 nuking team for that. Because that Hokage Tsunade just straight violates your life. Otherwise, the, nothing was too difficult from these main plot instances. Ellie instances as well, you get to sweep for Nengendo, which I'll be doing every day. I think you get him at level 89. It's something around like level 89, you unlock it. And you just get yourself more Tsunade, Sion, more fragments from this. Uh, you don't get to see the level 90 plot instances, which you will get a Killer B as a reward. Um, but you don't even get that Killer B until like 98 as well. It's basically all, it's basically going to be there by the level 100 cap. And Elite instances, level 90 sweeps, you get a lot of more interesting ninjas. But let us move on. So today's video I wanted to basically try and raise my battle power by using all the remaining items I had stacked up. They, we do have a limited refine event, so I do have some refines uh, that are left over. Going to see where I can get with those. And I also didn't get a chance to do my strengthen. So this is the this is basically the thing that costs so much. And we will see how much of a battle power boost you get. So you get about 20 stats per strengthen. Um, so for doing up from level 85 to 90, it will basically be 100 stat per ninja. Which isn't too much. For the price, I mean, you're going to be spending 50 million coins, but coins are a free way of getting battle power. And the reason why I was stacking my coins this long was in preparation for a level 90 cap update. After I get my strengthens done, I will be stacking for maybe 100 mil. And then I'll do an inner gates video because it's been so long since I worked on this. And it's been a very long time since I actually did the last inner gates video. You still don't get the gate of death. So this does come later on. And I have all these runes that I need to eventually use up or, you know, get XP from. Personally, I don't know exactly what to do with these. I don't see myself using them, um, and I could hope for better ones. But first, we should go for, I guess, the strengthens. You know, this is something everybody on the stream was asking me for. So, let's see. Let's just first see how much it costs. So, from 85 to 86 is 400,000. Then it goes to 408,000, 420,000. 430,000, 440,000, and then 460,000 for 91. Yes, I'm rounding it. Okay, I don't like I don't like numbers if they're not round. Um, so this alone is going to be really expensive. Let's see how much VP it is from one item. So it was, it's actually not that bad. Um, so let's just do everything and see the coins drop. I mean, had 134,000 or 134 million. So let us see exactly what we can get from all these coins. Um, then inner gate stacking. I want to basically, I, every time I do an inner gates video, I want to do more than the previous one. And that's why I don't want to do less than 85 mil. But 100 million will be a cool round number. This actually costs a damn lot. We're actually really close to the 100 mil still. Went from 134 million down to 94. Um, as expected, I didn't expect to do more than 40 million into strengthens. So it was about right. Pretty much exactly 40 million on the dot. Now I can focus on the inner gates. And I, yes, I have been doing group donations this entire time as well as I've been stacking. This got me to 65k power. Um, and I am using my you know, highest battle power formation. I still don't think... Okay, so Iruka, you have to also level them to 90, cultivate them. And you have two awakenings. 
Um, I, I will focus on Awakenings, so that's what I want to go for. And I don't think they have max mood. For pure battle power um, purposes, you want to basically get mood that will raise the highest stat, which will be attack and drop the lowest. So resistance and life are very high, attack is very good. Usually attack and ninjutsu give a huge battle power boost. Um, so Iruka's mood could be different if I go for pure battle power. Sailor Sakura, I actually want to max her mood and start using her more. I got her 5 star so long ago and I don't use it. So I need to get her working. And Itachi as well. Um, I just didn't get his mood maxed out. So the battle power could still go a lot higher on the highest formations. But it actually was not that bad. You know, from the strengthens, it was like around 600 battle power. Maybe a little bit more than that. It was pretty fair. Pretty fair to say the least. Alright, so I will probably, I'll probably awaken Sailor Sakura, just because I do plan to use a team. Now, I really get bored of Water Main, for the reason that you need to run Mei in every single Water Main setup. I mean, 90% of the Water Main teams will run Mei, and I've just used Mei so much. She's amazing, yeah, no pun intended, but yeah, I think it's time for a break. And then I, I guess I tried Chojuro last night, and... You know, he's good, but I just I just really want to move away from him. So 15, the Awakens actually cost a lot of materials. Now I do have, let's see, how much we get? 60 power from that. I have 550 Bond Scrolls. I'm, I'm wondering if I really want to just use them up and do a video for 550 for no reason. Don't even know why I was stacking these things up. It's just I never bothered to summon them. And I figured, why not? So maybe I, you know, I don't know. Should I actually use up those bond scrolls and just do a video for no reason exactly? Kind of need those awakening materials at this point. So maybe over this weekend. All right, so strengthens are done. Um, equipments. Germany did get the ninja exam upgrade. So that came a month, two months after the level cap, I believe. Two months. I think they got level cap in January. We will not see a ninja exam until after we get reanimation treasure because the schedule we're on now we got the level 90 cap we get the rescue the Cherokee event then we get the cat quiz event then reanimation treasure then ninja exam rays then i think the next thing after ninja exam rays is like rainbow magatamas for another battle power feature uh, and then we get Jin Cherokees. now what we still need to do is get the basically tactics formation with the percentages they will give you stat boosts as well as percentages towards that stat. And that's going to just increase your battle power even further. I think Germany already has that. So we're still missing out. I'm not sure when, we'll, when we will get that formation thing. Um, and I do want to max out tactics when that feature comes out. It does give you a good amount of battle power. You can see here, it's like almost a thousand attack and ninjutsu difference. So getting this maxed out, it's a pretty good amount of power. Otherwise, let us check out. Let's see what's in my bags, actually. Alright, so the Magatamas, it's not too many. But there's a significant amount of level fours, so maybe I can get somewhere with that. I have don't, I don't have too many refines. Um, I need to get a thousand advanced because I want to get a level ten, and then just maximize the purifies to get a lot of stat boosts. It gives you a lot of initiative from that alone. Then they have um, nothing else actually. Some group summon chakra packs. I actually thought I would have way more stuff. Yeah, I actually don't have as much stuff as I thought I would. Okay. So purifies and refines and Magatama. Just so I don't bore you guys too much, I'll just, you know, raise the battle power, let you guys listen to some music, and I'll resume the commentary after we're done with that. So please enjoy.
All right, guys. So you witnessed all the power increases. Pretty satisfied. You went from about 64k to 66k, um, including the strengthens and levels from like 90 or from 85 to 90 was not really that much. Um, people said they got about 3k power from that. I might have only gotten 1500, so no idea where that was from. Levels alone was maybe a thousand power, and um, the strengthens were only like 600 in total. So I got like 1600 power from 85 to 90 with the strengthens. Just wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, compared to everyone else's results, but I think the biggest mistake I did was on the actual purifies. Didn't really mess around with purifies too much. My strategy to purify is, is always get like a purple initiative and then worry about everything else. Now the problem is you still need to get that, you want to get the purple initiative um, to be 99% or even gold, so I need to try my best to get a 99% uh, initiative here for my scroll because it's going to be a level 9. Well, it is a level 9 refine, and I'm trying to get a level 10 refine at one point. So I guess by the time it's level 10, then I'll actually try to go for just, you know, gold initiative and hope it's a 99%. Um, besides that, purification, protection runes, yeah, I, I definitely had to spend some coupons, which I didn't mind, you know, I had coupons saved up from levels and all the recent stuff this week in my monthly pack. So I had, I had to use up some of my coupons to fix this, but... Overall, the stats increase is pretty good, um, closing in on the 70k. Now, it's going to probably definitely still take a while, but at least I'm a lot closer than I was before. Highest initiative of 3700. You know, my critical attack is the highest, because I do have a, crit a gold critical attack um, on my Ayuruka. He has all the level 7 refines, 1, 8, and 1, 9. I am saving the advanced ones for a level 10, just because the purifies give you around like 600 stats alone if you manage to get yourself uh you know gold with 99 percent it's a pretty big boost so purifies are a huge battle power source that i'm missing um magatamas are slowly getting there you know i got most level sixes starting to get more level sevens out there as far as the ninjutsu goes but this was pretty much all the materials i had left for battle power um going to bring you guys some sort of team this weekend Saturday, I have a Great Ninja War video pl uh, planned for you guys with Tendo. And Sunday, I'm not sure. Sunday is going to be either, uh, you know, something to do with the Bond Scroll Summons for some weird reason. Or maybe the Great Ninja War goes good Saturday and I'll record that for you. Either way, Sunday stream will have, you know, the next team I'm going to mess around with. But this is currently my highest battle power. You know, the only other goal I have left is to get myself... The uh, Karen from an event, if he does sh return, which probably will be in like some time, and then get all the summoning points needed for a King of Hell. That's what I really do want to get. After that collecting, I guess I'll just uh, wait for the Tsunade recharge to come back. Recharge 50k for Tsunade, then focus on getting a Six Tails QB and getting myself the um, just basically everything else goes towards power. I want to get 70k power by the t with the 50k recharge for Tsunade. Hopefully. I'll accomplish that. My runestones are pretty bad, so I need to somehow invest into keys. Uh, and uh, basically, I want to save the keys and get it for the actual Itachi rebate for the runestone cave. My runestones, you know, it's a pretty big deal. I would like to get all runestones at least level 7. Um, it shouldn't cost too much. So, runestones, purifies are the weakest links now. Refines are all at least over 6, which I'm happy about. When I get them to level 7, I, I no longer need medium level refines, just advanced ones. And advanced ones can get a pain. Um, you know, it, it will be pretty smart to, if you've just stacked up all your advanced level refines and do them all in one go. But it's very expensive. I mean, to go from 7 to 10, yeah, that is a lot of scrolls to stack, or at least runes to stack. Even right now, I have 583, or 538, sorry. And to get a to get level ten, you pretty much need to be right by the, th the thousand. Even with the Minato event for this, it's not really gonna help you any closer. But the level ten just looks so nice. The stat boost gives the stat boost is really nice. And on top of that, if you get a ninety nine percent gold purify for initiative or any stat, it's a huge power boost. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time. I also post. Uh, I also have the card or whatever they call it on YouTube that links you to the stream from yesterday in case you want to see the level cap stuff as well as the instances. But this was the power increase for the first time in a while. You know, I actually 
used up all my resources. Uh, rankings wise, we're still, you know, right behind Delicious. I definitely had better runestones and stuff. And Kapow, you know, he's getting close to 90k. Uh, but yeah, it shouldn't be too long since I maybe get a 70. It depends how fast the Hokage comes back. Uh, Hokage Tsunade recharge. But I will see you guys next time.